Hands down, Google Ads is the best marketing channel that you can use to grow your business in a profitable way. And the reason for why I know this is true is because I've used Google Ads since 2010 to grow not only my own business, but hundreds of other businesses. Now, if you have personally said or you heard that Google Ads is not profitable, that is likely because you've been using Google Ads in the wrong way. So if you wanna launch your very first Google Ads campaign the right way so that you can avoid some of the most costly mistakes that many people make time and time again when it comes to Google Ads, you need to stick around and watch this video. But just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you'd like to stay up to date with what is working in Google Ads right now, why don't you like this video and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out every single time that I release a new Google Ads training video. Thank you so much. Now I know when we talk about getting started with Google Ads, people can get all excited and just rush straight in to setting up their very first Google Ads campaign. And that is part of the problem. People dive into Google Ads without looking and researching the core elements that they need for success with Google Ads. And before you start going through the step-by-step -step process of actually setting up your Google Ads campaign, there's three core things that you need to complete first. And this is your keyword research, your ad copy and your conversion tracking. And so that you can see how each of these elements work together, along with this video where I show you the step-by-step -step process for how to set up a Google Ads campaign, I've created a special getting started with Google Ads playlist and I'll link this to the end of this video. So after you finish watching this video, you can then go back and watch those other three core elements that you need to complete so that you can have an amazing Google Ads campaign that is gonna be generating your business those sales and leads that it needs every single day. And also, as we're going through the step-by-step -step process, if you feel like you've missed any of those steps, never fear, because what I've done is that if you follow the link in the description below, I've actually created a free Google Ads campaign setup guide, which you can download. And this includes my strategy notes, and it also has screenshots of all the different steps that you need to take to set up your Google Ads campaign. So don't worry if we're going through this too fast in this video, because all you need to do is to download that guide, and then you can follow along when you're going through the process of setting up your own Google Ads campaign. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up one campaign with one ad group. But before we go through that step-by-step -step process, I wanna show you how that fits within the correct Google Ads account structure. So when it comes to creating a Google Ads campaign, we have our Google Ads account. And this is the place where all of your individual campaigns are housed. So for your own business, you'll have one Google Ads account with multiple different campaigns. And then below each of these campaigns, you'll have targeted ad groups. And each of these individual ad groups have targeted keywords, which then lead people through to individual ads and landing pages. And what I wanna focus on here is that all of these individual ad groups only have one keyword. So this ad group is targeting one set of keywords, and this other ad group is targeting a second group of keywords. And that's what we call the one keyword theme method because each of these ad groups only have one keyword theme. And let me show you how this works in an example. So if you've got an account which is targeting a villa resort in Bali, you would have individual campaigns around your core accommodation types. So one bedroom villas, two bedroom villas. Then you may also wanna have a Bali general campaign and a Seminyak general campaign. And then when it comes down to your individual ad groups in the one bedroom villas campaign, you've got different keywords around one bedroom villas Bali and one bedroom villas Seminyak. And then moving across. So for two bedroom villa Bali and two bedroom villa Seminyak. And what this does is that this then means in our one bedroom villa ad group, we only have keywords which are around about one bedroom villa Bali villas. Versus in our Seminyak ad group, it's looking at focusing on keywords in and around one bedroom villas Seminyak. And the reason for why this is so powerful and for why it highly increases your conversion rates is because you are then able to target different ad copies which relate to these search terms and send them to the most relevant landing page on your website. So in this campaign, we wouldn't send everyone through to the homepage. If someone did a search for a one bedroom villa, they would be taken through to a one bedroom villa landing page versus if they search for a two bedroom villa, they would go directly to that two bedroom villa landing page. Another core advantage of setting it up this way is that if you come down to a campaign and you see, say for example, in the two bedroom villa campaign, the keywords around two bedroom Bali 
Hawaiian villas aren't converting as high as the keywords around two bedroom Seminyak villas, we can very quickly pause this ad group to focus our budget on this high performing two bedroom villa Seminyak campaign. And that's a lot harder to do if you just got all of these keywords scrambled into one ad group. And now that you know the correct structure that you need to be using for your Google Ads campaign using that one keyword theme method, let me take you through the step-by-step -step process that you're gonna go through to set up your very first Google Ads campaign. And as I said, remember if you miss any of these steps, just follow that link in the description below so that you can download my free copy of your Google Ads campaign setup guide. So to start this process, you wanna to go to ads.google.com and then we click on get started. And if you already got a Google Ads account, it'll bring you straight into your Google Ads dashboard. But if you don't have that set up yet, you do need to go through a few extra steps and it's just a simple process of adding in your email and setting up a Google Ads account. The only thing that I do wanna point out if that this is your first time setting up a Google Ads account, you'll be brought to a screen like this. And what you wanna do is you wanna use this little button down here and you wanna to switch to expert mode. Now don't be scared off by that term switch to expert mode because if you don't do this, you'll be setting up a smart campaign where Google has full control. And further than that, you don't see any of the data like which keywords are performing the best, which ad copies are performing the best. But don't be scared off by this because I'm here to take you through the step-by-step -step process. So once you switch that expert mode or just normal mode, you go through and you click on new campaign and we start the process of setting up your Google Ads campaign. Now I'll always select either the sales or the leads metric. If you're running an e-commerce campaign, set up sales. If you're running a service-based industry, choose the leads option. And then from there, it'll bring you to the section where you need to select which conversions you wanna be included in your campaign setup. Now, I've already got conversions set up, but remember how I said that I've got that playlist set up for you, which is called Getting Started with Google Ads. That playlist has a full lesson on how to set up your conversion actions. So we'll skip through this now, but you can come back and add those conversion actions later. Then we press continue and we wanna select a search campaign. And then you come down and you wanna add in your campaign name. When it comes to adding in your campaign name, I'm really big on making sure that you've got a very clear naming convention so you know exactly what this campaign is talking about. As I showed you in the example before, we're creating this campaign all about a villa resort in Bali. So I've called my campaign name Bali Villas and just put in brackets that it's a search campaign. Once again, you don't have to do that, but I'm very big on having a very clear campaign name. Then we go through and press continue. And when we're starting a brand new campaign, I recommend that you start on clicks. And the reason for why I recommend this is because we wanna start getting some traffic through the campaign. And then once we get some initial conversion data, that's when we can then change it over to the maximize conversions bidding section. And then from there, we click on next. Now these two options here, I unselect these. The reason for why I unselect these, firstly with the display network, if we're gonna be having ads for the display network, which is an image-based network, it is far better that you create a separate display campaign because if you've got searched ads, so text-based ads, competing against display or image ads, they're not gonna convert as well. And the reason for why I don't include my searches in the Google search partners, and this is other sites like AOL, is because I've never just found that you get any reasonable data or results by adding these in. Then we come down to our locations. Now there's a couple of options when it comes to the locations. You can target all countries and territories, the country that you're based in, or you can go through and add in a list of different countries. And for this one, I'm gonna show you how easy that is. We're gonna target three different countries, which we know we get great results from this campaign. And that is Australia, Singapore, and the UAE. Now there's no limit to the amount of countries that you add, but for this example, I've just shown you how you can add individual countries. If you don't wanna do this by countries, you can even target this down to states, cities, or postcodes. Once again, by just typing in the relevant post or zip code, city or state that you'd like to target. When it comes to languages, only focus on one language, so we've just got English here. And when it comes to this audience segment, now I'm a really big believer in audiences, and what you wanna be doing here is you wanna be adding in as many audiences as possible. And the way to think of this is that we're not adding the audiences that we wanna target because Google will automatically target all audiences. What we're asking Google here is to give us this audience data. And then that allows us further down the track to add in extra bid optimizations and optimizations to these different audiences. I've already got some different audiences in this one, so I'm gonna select all of these. And what I've also done in that getting started with Google Ads, I've got an individual video all about audiences and bidding strategies. 
So you can learn more about that in that playlist. And then you'll see this little more settings button. This is very much around if you want this campaign to start in the future. So let's just say you're setting up this campaign today, but you don't want it to start for another seven days. You can change the dates in there by clicking on this pencil icon. In regards to an end date, I'm not gonna discuss this further here, but Google Ads performs better when it's an always on campaign. And what I mean by that is if you want this campaign just to last two weeks, that is something that I don't recommend for a search campaign. One of the main reasons for that is because when you start this campaign, it is gonna be going through a learning phase that lasts at least seven to 10 days. So there's no point setting up a campaign if it's not even gonna complete its learning phase. For me, Google Ads performs best as an always on campaign where it's getting you leads and sales every single day of the year. And then from there, you can also add in a schedule. This is especially useful if you're running a service-based business and you only want your ads to run between Mondays and Fridays, you can add this schedule in here. But for this one, we want it to run 24 seven. So we're just gonna go through and click next. And now we come to the stage where we set up our ad groups, where we add in those individual keywords and ad copies. And this is the part where I said in that getting started with Google playlist, we've got greater teaching about how to complete your keyword research and also your ad copy. And once you've gone through that process, your keywords will look like this. Remembering that one keyword theme that we set up and spoke about before, where we've got ad groups about one bedroom villa in Bali, focusing on those keywords, and then we've got different ad groups focusing on the two bedroom villa Bali, focusing on those two bedroom villa keywords. So we're gonna do the one bedroom villa Bali. So it's just a matter of me copying this over here. And then we add the keywords in here. And then it comes to creating our ads. I've already got my ad copy ready to go. We've got the one bedroom villa ad group in here, and I'm gonna copy some of these headlines and descriptions over right now. Now I've gone through and added in my URL, my display path, also my different headlines. I've only added in three headlines for this example, but you can add up to 15 different headlines. Same with the descriptions, you can add up to four, but I've just added in two. And once again, in that getting started with Google Playlist, I've got more information about how to correctly write your ad copies and the core elements that you need to include. But for this example, we've now got our ad set up. From there, we then press next. And then from there, we can add in some different site links. Now I'm not gonna add these in here to save time, but I highly recommend that you add in different site links. And what these site links do is they appear at the bottom of your ad and they allow you to direct people to different parts of your website. So for this example, we're focusing on one bedroom villas in Bali. You could add in a different site link to take people to different parts of your website. So two bedroom villas, your accommodation gallery, your book now or your contact button. And then there is also other extensions which you can add like your call out and your call extensions. Once again, in that getting started with Google playlist, I'll pop a video in there so that you can learn more about these call outs and extensions. Then we click on next and then we come through and set our budget. Now, when it comes to our budget, you write in the daily budget, but it's calculated on a monthly basis. So if you wanna spend $300 a month, you would write in a daily budget of $10 a day. Then we click on next. And then it comes to the time where we just review our campaign. We go through making sure that we're happy with all of these elements, and then we click publish campaign. And then as simple as that, your very first campaign is up and live. Now, one point I do wanna make is that if this is your first account, especially if it's your first campaign, in a brand new Google Ads account. It may take two to three days for Google to finish some verification before you start to see your ads running live. So to make sure that your ads are gonna be up and running by a certain date. So for example, if you want your ads to be set up and running by the 1st of September, I would highly recommend that you set up your Google Ads account and campaign at least three to four days before that date. And remember, if you've missed any of those steps, just follow the link in the description below so that you can download my free Google Ads campaign setup guide. And then finally, if you wanna get some more information about how to complete your keyword research, your ad copy, set up your conversions, also learn more about those other elements that I spoke about in the video, like how to add audiences and how to add different extensions, why don't you go through and watch this playlist right here. Thank you so much, see you next time.